When you receive the camera, take the camera out of your bag. You should have a camera, two batteries, a large and a small, mark battery 1B and battery A. You should have a battery charger and a cord and tripod. Now there's two different power options you can choose from. The first one is using battery power. This is great if you are not near a plug. If you are near a plug, I recommend connecting the power cable directly to the camera so you don't have an accidental battery discharge and lose your recording. If you're far away and you know that these are charged, you're good to go. Batteries are great options. Um, but if you know you're close to a cord and gonna be staying in the same spot, this is a great option to plug it in. So let's talk about how to connect your battery. Take your battery. First, you can check its battery level by holding the check button. Both batteries have this feature. After you've checked your battery and you know it's good to go, you're going to place the battery inside and pull it down till it clicks. You'll hear a click. To release the battery, you're going to push the battery release button right here, push up and extract the battery. Once the battery is in, you can then turn on the camera. To plug power into the camera, you're going to find the DC in door, open it. Inside, you'll see the DC in 12 volt plug. You'll take your power cord from the back of the battery charger and plug it into the camera. Once your battery has been inserted in the camera, you're going to turn the camera on. This is done using the little white and red knob here. You're going to push and turn it. You'll notice a red light come on and the camera is now on. You have two options of using a viewfinder. One, you can use the viewfinder at the top with the eyepiece, place your eye over the screen and you'll see the image begin to be projected inside. It is black and white, but will give you all the same features. You can also use the extendable LCD screen. To grab that, you're going to grab right here near the screen. You're going to see a little pop up, air, pop out arrow. You're going to pull it out, turn it, and you'll now see your screen displayed. Next thing you'll want to do is open the lens cover. This is done here on the lens piece itself. There's a little button, push up, that will open the lens cover and you'll be able to see video. Once you have the camera on, viewfinder ready to go, you're going to want to insert an SD card. SD cards are located in your SD card case. You're going to open it up, pull out an SD card and insert it. This can be done on the side. You'll see where it says SD card slot. You open that window, place the SD card in the number one with the text facing you and push down. You can then close that screen. You'll know an SD card has been inserted when you see a white SD card symbol with the number one and then a minute or time next to it. That's how many minutes of recording you have available on that SD card. If that time is not going to meet the requirement of the program you're recording, you need to insert a second SD card into the same slot. Once you have your SD card inserted, you're ready to go. To record, you're going to push the red button either on the side with your finger or on the top here. To zoom, you can use the zoom button on the top here or the zoom button on the side above the record button. When you're all done, you click the record button again, recording will cease, and you are good to go. You can then pull out your SD card, transfer the data to your computer, clear the SD card, and place it back in its box. Shut the LCD screen and turn off the camera and close the lens cover. You may place the camera back in its case, ready for its next use.